it was a night like any other. Gary Schmidt was out bowling with his buddies. Yes! Gutterball! I win again! Uh, buddy, that's not winning. You're supposed to knock the pins. Don't worry, Gare Bear. You'll win one someday. Ugh. I've been winning for the last eight years. Bing! Gary, you ever think of settling down? Maybe having some kids? Maybe a couple girls and a boy with a bad hip? Haha, <laughs> yeah, sure. Like some girl's ever gonna turn my head. Little did Gary know, his life was about to change forever. Hey boys, you need a refill? Thank you, Nancy. Here's a little something for you. Here's a tip, Nance. Ahem, and what about you? Huh? Oh, you want a tip? Uh, here's a sticky penny I found on the floor. Once Gary got up the nerve, and a proper knowledge for tipping, he finally asked the beautiful Nancy Kellner out on a date. Hey, baby. Wanna go home and play a house? Only if you'll vacuum. Apparently, he was a good house cleaner because they got married two years later in May of 1982. Yay! After the wedding, they flew to Colorado. It was Nancy's first time on a plane. Oh my god, we're gonna crash! There's something on the wing! We're gonna die! Nancy, sit down. Once in Colorado, they bought their first family-friendly, gas-efficient, perfect little car. Avoiding another traumatizing plane ride for Nancy, they drove back home. Gary even made a few surprising, romantic stops at junkyards. Happy honeymoon, sweetheart. Oh, it's beautiful, Gary. After that, they bought their first little brown house in Rochester, Minnesota. Before long, Mr. Stork came and delivered their very first beautiful baby. <coughs> Anna Schmidt was born April 1st on Groundhog's Day. <coughs> and she wasn't the quietest of babies. <coughs> and she always hit her head. Not long after that, Katie was born into the world on February 2nd. <coughs> and she wasn't much different, but she loved to go back to the hospital for surgery. A few years later, on January 22nd, Brandon Schmidt fell into the world. He was a big baby. Nancy? I think Brandon needs his diaper changed. An inquisitive young lad, he was curious and eager to learn about the world around him. Ah, no, Brandon! Ah. No. <laughs> Mom, Brandon's chasing us with his big fat head again! At least I'm not Jordan. Who's Jordan? Life was good, but the Schmidt family kept growing, and soon they opened their hearts and welcomed their first exchange student, Lori, from Finland. He stayed in the Schmidt family household while he attended Dover Yoda School. He was a masterful photographer. Ooh, tornado. Great photo op. Larry, get in the house! I'm almost done. Whoa! Many years later, Lori even welcomed the Schmidt family to his hometown of Helsinki. Hey guys, hold still. Let's capture this moment forever. Ah, beautiful. In 2002, Lori married his love, Hannah, and they started their very own family. His son, Alexei, was born 2006. Back to the Schmitties, Gary turned an old car junkyard into an auto parts paradise. A few expansions later, and Automotive Recyclers was born. They fully owned the company in 1995. In 1996, they expanded their family even more and got Buster the dog. He's so cute. Ruff. But was that enough for the Schmidt family? Oh no. In 1998, they got Sydney, who was a happy little fellow. Ah! <laughs> 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 
They also took in Eduardo from Brazil for a bit, who was shy, timid, and a sweetheart. I'm, I'm sorry. Can I stay with you guys for a while? I'm, I hope I'm not imposing. Of course you can, Eduardo. Th thank you. In 1999, Ben from Germany came to stay and kind of kicked out Sydney. Yo, get out of here. I'm gonna bust the cap in your dorm. Ooh, ooh. Even after all of this, Nancy couldn't get enough. Gary, can we get another exchange student? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready yet. Let's wait a while. In the year 2000, Hanno and Marcus came to stay, and Gary had to sleep on the roof again. Hanno was a little different. He liked to wear parking cones on his head, apparently. <laughs> and Marcus was a fisherman. Every time he caught a fish, he would let it go, but he gave it a little goodbye kiss first. Call me. Simon from Germany stayed at the Schmitz in 2002. He loved gymnastics. Maybe a little too much. Oh, pretty colors. Next stop, Olympics. This was a big year for the Schmidt family. Well, mostly for Brandon, who broke his femur on a tombstone out for vengeance. Ah! It's alive! It's trying to kill me! In 2004, the Schmidts took in Fabrizio and Jonathan. Jonathan was a good guy, but Fabrizio... Ha <laughs> ha, you're gay. ...had some issues, but the Schmidts loved them like their own. Despite his ways, though, Fabrizio had a great dream. I'm Spider-Man, yilly! <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man. But John had his obsessions too. Hey, where's all the chocolate? Mmm, my chocolate. <laughs> At this time, their eldest daughter, Anna, had grown into a fine young woman and started dating Corey Item from high school. And things were never quite the same for the family. <laughs> Even after all of this, the Schmitz continued to open their home to house foreign exchange students. Stupid Americans. Blah, 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 blah. You'd think they would have learned by now. <clears throat> Thilo from Germany didn't have the highest opinion of the states, but he still wiggled his way into their hearts. Like heartworm. How do you pronounce your name? Sherbet? Sherbet? Sorbet? Sorbet? It's like a, it's like a fruity ice cream treat that's, that's, that's like not ice cream. In 2007, they took in Marco from Germany. He was a champion swimmer, but he also enjoyed relaxing on the internet. What are you doing, Marco? Shopping for an American wife. Nice. Carry on. And in 2008, the Schmidt family welcomed Philip from Sweden. Hi, Hi Philip! <laughs> I'll touch your butts. And there you have it. We hope you've enjoyed this brief segment of the Schmidt family history. Brought to you by... Automotive Recyclers. Come spend your money here. Thank you.